those who are concerned about exercise and uh, physical fitness, I wanted to show you the most effective, least expensive, um, and easy to access exercise equipment that there is. First of all, these are weights, and you can get weights in any size you like, <laughs> any weight you want, right? You can use them however you like, exercise any part, right? Okay, also, if you're into, say, for instance, a stair stepper, there you go, right up there, a the stair stepper, and for the treadmill, right there, and I'm going to use that right now because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some clay for pottery. Obviously the clay, we need water, we need fire, and something else to bind the clay together so that when it's drying and, or being fired, it doesn't crack. Um, because when you look at clay on the ground, after it's rained, it gets wet, whatever, it dries out and then you see that it's all cracked up. So you want to keep it from doing that when you dry it and when you fire it. So to bind it together, there's a couple options. You can use sand. Another option uh, is you want the, the dung from an herbivore. What I'm going to do, you want to mix it in there so that it's consistent. It's all through all of the clay. And do that while it's dry. All right, this is fantastic. There's just a just a bunch of donkey turds here. I could... Uh, it's like I could never run out. I'm so happy to have found so much crap. <laughs> All right. This is just so exciting. Wow. This video is for people in every part of the world, in all countries. You can make clay pottery no matter where you live because everywhere <clears throat> there's clay. And uh, everywhere you'll notice that the ancient people, if not the people who live there currently, made pottery out of the clay. So the first thing we want to find out, of course, is did that dirt that I picked up, is that actually clay? <laughs> or is it just dirt? Because it doesn't look like the kind of clay you would buy from a store. It doesn't look like the sort of thing you'd see on a potter's wheel, right? First thing is, you look at the top of it, is it cracked? You know from being dried out that means it's probably some clay content but is this clay that I can actually work you can see that it is kind of kind of clumped up which is a good sign but it's also really easy to break what we want to know is if I have a little bit of water it doesn't have to be very much water if I have just a little bit of water will it clump together See how it's stuck together like that? 
that's what I want. This is going to be perfect. That's what I'm trying to do. See, as you, as you squish, as you break up the clay, you begin to find the pebbles that were hiding in there, and it was hard to discern the difference between the pebble and the clay until you break it up like this. Now what I want is about a 50-50 clay and donkey crap. I mean, really, maybe that, so.